because I know what I've done in the past. I know what cannot stop me in the future. Inspired by the former Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell, the lone survivor. He had said um, something like that on uh, one of his interviews. It, uh, no, it made me a tear up, man. And it's amazing that he says he's an ordinary person. When he describes the way that he was pretty much paralyzed from mid-body <laughs> mid down, crawling with just his hands, engaging the enemy, surviving. And and connecting um, some of the other talks from the uh, Jocko Willing from the Jocko podcast. Man, dude, uh, it's a bit hard to uh, absorb. Cockley then and spread spread out again. I guess more it's um, I'm wondering how uh, that message isn't um, uh, repeated throughout uh, kindergarten, grade school, middle school, high school, and. Uh, Hasn't become, um, or hasn't become yet a matter of fact. Like, uh, good morning, good afternoon. <coughs> you know, Jocko Willing says, uh, "Get after it." Was a, a bit of a challenge to, to hear that because as much as I do have done you know, I, th I think it's good to put yourself in a guilt trip be like hey fucker um, are you running on all cylinders or are you really going to the limit um it was a video where Jocko Willink had um, one of his guests. I forget the, he's a UFC fighter and a current. Maybe he's a um, Green Beret or um, what's the other army one? What's the other special forces in the army? Green Beret. I don't think it was a ranger. I 
Delta Force. <coughs> but he had commented that. He was commenting, commenting about recover, recover, rest and recovery. He was saying that, well, first you should um, have done the workout to um, need such rest. And him and Jocko were agreed that you pretty much did put out a thousand percent if you're crawling into bed, not going to sleep. I just say, no, I'm going to sleep now. With your pajamas on, your pajama beanie on. I'm going to bed. No, I can go to sleep. And I say, going to bed because, fuck, man, I'm fucking tired and uh, I need to rest because tomorrow I'm going to fucking make it happen again or more. Marcus Luttrell just saying that he's just a normal guy and saying that uh, the hardest thing wasn't Bud's nor was it his uh, time in Afghanistan but when he was told that he could no longer be a SEAL that he had, he had to be retired and um, that's when I teared up because um, I don't think many people could um, can relate to that because many people I've seen is it four o'clock is it five o'clock is it five minutes still closing let me get ready so I can run out the door and uh, oh my god man I need to stand on my feet eight hours I deserve a raise. Expect me to work on Christmas Eve. Oh my god, I don't have um, my pink fuzzy bunny slippers on and my super socks and whatever the fuck. And I think more, I want to speak on this because <clears throat> there are people that that look at their past and be like, no nah, man, my mama hit me, my daddy beat me up every night, no, I was born poor, I, um, I, I didn't get the best grades, um, I didn't get any awards, I didn't get this or that, or... I was lacking here, and uh, and that's why I'm gonna quit. That's why I don't believe. That's why you shouldn't believe either. And uh, should erase a little bit. And that attitude is, uh, to me, from what I've seen, it's not uncommon, and it spreads because. Uh, People don't want to critique it. Like, oh, you know what? Um, he's right. She's right. Uh, look at them. They're having a bad time. I don't want to have a bad time either. What if I fail? What if I have to quit? What if that's a lot of studying and and money? But I recommend you look at that, uh, those hardships where you lacked, and instead think, you know what, just because they were assholes, scumbags, low shooters, low aimers, that means don't do that, don't spread that, don't create more of that. And uh, 
it's gonna be some fucking wimp that's gonna say no man but that, that wasn't fair man um see they farted on my soup so i'm gonna fart on everyone's soup and you know what i'm i'm, I'm not here to twist your arm if you really really believe that but to the people that are saying fuck um, this doesn't feel good. <laughs> I don't think I want to spread that. I think we need a darker one over here. That doesn't feel good. I I don't think I want to um be part of that. And I look at your scars, your hardships, your struggles, and be like, fuck, that didn't kill me. <laughs> that didn't drown me. That didn't beat me. That did not defeat me. And if you're still breathing, which I think you are, <laughs> and dude, you, you've got um, much more than hope. You've got a chance. You've got a shot. And it's, uh, not, it, it is distracting when everyone says, oh my God, I gotta be here at work. Um, oh my goodness, someone burned um, something in the, in the oven, in the muffins, or um, the smell. Or some shit like that. I remember at a Starbucks. And the dumb bitch is like, uh, yeah, and I'm pregnant too. And I'm thinking, you know, uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with earning a living so that your um, child can have uh, food, shelter, and water. But if you checkmated, checkmated yourself into a corner of life to where you have to put your kid uh, to sell, smell, smell smoke, you gotta think about that. Do you want to continue doing that? So don't let those um, injuries, pains, drama, trauma, disappointments, <coughs> betrayal, or headaches say, tell you or make you want to believe, ah, oh, no, it's all for it. Um, fuck love. <laughs> fuck love, the whole world's gonna end. No. Don't do that, man. Because, you're st again, you're still standing or sitting, whatever the fuck you're doing. And uh, go forward. Make it happen. No excuses. Motherfucker. <laughs>